Hello lovely people of YouTube. Today we will be learning how to load third-party instruments inside of Contact. There are two types of third-party instruments. There's the lovely dev people who bought a license from Native Instruments, and so they can load their library through the library tab thing. So that's really great. And if they bought a license, they can do that, and it'll work in the Contact Player version. You do not need the full version of Contact. If the dev person, though, did not buy a lovely license from Native Instruments, then they cannot use the lovely browser tab. You have to use the file tab to load their instruments. And so let's start with those. So there's two types. You're going to have to look up on their website what type they are, type 1 or type 2 dia uh, licensing. So let's take a look at this. So in files, let's say I am a lovely developer. Hey, look. There's my name, Composing Gloves. I made a library, but I'm not going to pay some license fee to, to share my library. So I didn't pay it. So you download my instrument. By the way, you can on my website. And here it is, Gloves Glock. I want to load it. Well, you got to go to the .nki file. And so you can double click it once you've got it. So you could like click around and say, hey, I want to go to the Glockenspiel and find the instruments uh, folder. And double click and it loads if you want to double click again on some other instrument it'll load it below and if you want to change an instrument out let's say you've got like 12 instruments open and you want to change the first one you can just click and drag and it replaced it this is now the reverse one i'll put it back see there you go so that's how you can load instruments um, there are a couple other ways to do this you can use your folder explorer thingy on your computer so if we open up one of those and we can navigate let's say okay let's come in here you can navigate to the folder on your computer let's go to composing gloves well this time we'll go for the bell tree and you'll see here a dot nki file i'll click and drag it right on and it loads it right up even in the vst version and that's super duper i'm ready to rock and roll you can click up here to minimize it if you didn't know that so that's how you can load them up in addition to this, if you don't want to have to go to the browser, especially since you can accumulate quite a few of these, because a lot of companies don't want to pay the extra money, you can right click on the background of contact. Let's close this. Let's say I use this one a lot for some reason. So I'll right click on the background and lo and behold, we get a extra folder, a quick load system. So I can right click here and add a folder and we'll name it new folder. Very creative. And I can drag this in. It gets loaded up. So let's say here I am, I just opened contact. I want to load something. Oh, look at this. I can right click on the background and I can double click or just click and drag and load my instrument like that. So that's how you can load third party instruments that did not pay a licensing fee. Now, if they did pay a licensing fee, you might be wondering why didn't it show up here? How do I get it to show up here? Well, in order to do that, we've got to go to the native access land. Let's go there. All right, now in the land of native access, you need to go in to add a serial. You click this up here, you put your serial number in, you click add it. If it farts at you and says something mean, you just need to suck it up and go to the company and say, yo, what's the dealio? I gave it the serial it wanted and it didn't eat it at all and they should have a fix for you. But then it should pop up and you should be able to install it and to tell it where to install it, come up here to your account, go to preferences, and there's a spot for the download and also where to put the content. So you can change your drives here. You see, I've got my library content in a different location because there's too much library content. So if you do all that stuff, it should appear in here and you're cooking with fire, baby. If it doesn't show up here, you need to go to manage libraries. And then you can go ahead, launch native access. I don't know, do black magic, call native instruments, uh, sign up the military. Uh, one thing you could try is you could try updating or reset and scan your database. Maybe, I don't know. I've never had, a, I've never actually had this problem, but I'm sure someone out there is going to manage to have it. And then finally, when in the libraries tab, you can peruse them. Let's say I want some brass. I have libraries that have brass in the name. I can look them up like this. And then I could come in and I can add them to my folder or whatever, and I can load the instruments. All the same rules apply. It's just they bought the licensing thing so they can have the super cool browsing tab and a couple other 
benefits as well. Anyways, that's how you load third-party instruments inside of Contact. You've been a lovely audience. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and have a blessed day. Thank <laughs> you.